Hello everyone and welcome to this World of Warcraft macro tutorial. I'm probably going to make a series of videos on that subject, but for now I'm going to stop on the basics and I'm going to show you how to make macros and how to use a macro that allows you to cast abilities on targets that you haven't acquired manually. Alright, first to get to the macro interface, you type slash macro in the chat. There we go. You have general macros and character specific macros. I'm going to use the character specific now, but it doesn't matter. They work the same way. Now, first off, I'm going to make a macro that allows me to acquire a focus target or to set a focus target. It's a very simple one. You just click new. You choose the name of the macro. Let's say focus. You pick an icon, click OK, and then here you type the macro command. It's very simple. You just type slash focus. Then you save it and you put it somewhere on your action bars. Now you can do the same thing from the key bindings. I believe there's a key binding for focus target, but this one works just as well. And it's a simple way of showing you how to make macros, right? So you pick a target, for example, the training dummy, you click this macro. And now, as you can see over here, the training dummy is now my focus target. You can easily change it between the grunts or the raiders training dummy and so on. Okay, now to the macro. We make a new macro called target focus. And what you have to type is slash cast, then in square brackets, target equals focus. And then the name of the ability you want to cast to your focus target. For example, icy touch. You save it, you put it to your action bar, and what you have now is the ability to cast Icy Touch on your focus target. So say the training dummy is your focus target, then you target this grunt. If I click my normal Icy Touch, nothing happens, but if I click the macro, I cast Icy Touch on my focus target without having to actually target it. My target is this grunt, and yet I can cast Icy Touch on the training dummy. Here's a way how you can improve the macro even further. Well, it's an improvement for some. Okay, now we save it. Now what's gonna happen is if you're holding shift while pressing the macro, you will cast the spell to your focus target. But if you're not holding shift, you'll cast the spell as it is. Here is an example. I'm targeting the Raider's training dummy. I'm hitting the macro. And you cast Icy Touch to your current target. But if you hold Shift, the spell is being cast to your focus target. So that was it for this tutorial. If you wonder where that can be useful, there are many, many examples of where this can help you. Um, I can think of a few. For example, let's say you're in a 2v2 arena and you're the healer. Now, you no longer need to be targeting your partner. You don't even have to mouse over him on your raid frame or whatever you're using. You can focus on CCing the opponent and just heal and shield and cleanse your partner at the same time without changing targets with these kinds of macros. Now, your key bindings will probably not allow you to have a macro for each of your abilities, but for the most essential ones, you can have a macro so that you will be able to do it without targeting. Just focus your partner and go ahead. For PvE, I've always used it on my rogue to misdirect, to do the tricks of the trade. I just focus whoever is the tank or whoever needs threat, and I just click the macro so I don't have to manually select who I'm misdirecting the, the threat towards. It can help a lot with tank swapping or with just... Um, if you are in a situation where you have to go and tank adds while the boss is invulnerable, you can very easily switch back to the boss without targeting him. You can taunt first and target later. It's also useful for interrupts. For example, if you're a mage or a warlock, you can focus a target that needs to be interrupted and simply press a button and continue your DPS rotation. I'm sure you can think of more examples, but it's a useful macro and it's rather simple. So I hope this one will help you guys. Tell me what you think. I know there can be improvements. There are much more complicated macros than this one. 
But this is, I think, a very good combination between simplicity and utility. So let me know if you have any suggestions about macros or about other things. Thank you very much for watching. Until next video, stay tuned and be good.